Welcome back to the channel guys, my name's Steve and I'm Stonewall Gamer. Welcome back to Rangers and the Champions League group stage draw. Firstly, I'd like to apologise for last episode. Um, it was very quiet, hopefully this isn't the same. Um, I had the wrong setting on my mic, I'm hoping that fixes it, but I was extremely quiet. Anyway, as I said, today we have the group stage draw. Uh, then we have Aberdeen and Hearts, I believe it is. I will, you know, go through the results of the games you've missed and all the rest of it after this draw. But we are fourth seed and uh, we're getting better. 36.35 is our coefficient. So, you know, we're 10 coefficients-ish. Well, actually, 52 is the lowest in the third. So we've got a bit of a way to go, but we're getting there slowly. Let's see what group we're going to get. Are you ready? I am not. So, here we go. Let's uh, go through right to the third like we usually do. Okay, so, <clears throat> dangerous groups. <laughs> Man City, Barca, Porto. Bayern, Arsenal, oh god, not good. I will take Group D. Uh, I'd take Group E. Don't, Tottenham have won the Champions League twice in a row now. So I don't want them. Uh, I'd take Group G. We'd probably lose to PSG, but you know. And I'd take Group H. H. Let's see. Let's see. You ready? Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. Not this one. Ooh. Please. Ooh. Okay. PSV, obviously Roma kicked our backside last time we played them, but, but, PSV are winnable, very winnable, Roma and PSG, interesting, anyway, um, let's just uh, do the continue and see who we will be playing in the uh, Champions League first. So, it looks like we will have PSV and PSG. Obviously, today we have Aberdeen and Hearts. So, um, I'll see you there. Won't be a second. Welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen. We are ready to go. We have Aberdeen. But quickly, let's take you through the games that you've missed. There's not many, but um, we obviously left you at Celtic where we won 1-0. As I said, the, it was very quiet, so if you did skip it, A, I don't blame you, and B, we drew to Man City. They had a full-strength team out as well, just to let you know. And um, we beat Celtic 1-0. Our new signing, Avramides, I think that's how you say his name, he's doing very, very well. Um, so the games you missed, we played Dunfermline in the Bet Fred Cup and won 3-0. Rotated the side and everyone played very well. Um, then we come up against Livingston in the league and we won a 6-0. Um, Dembele was absolutely on form for that, got himself a hat-trick. Did miss himself a penalty for the hat-trick but then put in the save. Um, and then we come up against Inverness Califissel who were second. As you can see, um, Nori missed himself a penalty but we won 2-0. So, hey-ho. Uh, Aberdeen and Hearts today. Uh, let's just have a quick look at the league. We are sitting top. We haven't let a goal in. We are doing amazingly well. It's only three games in, so I'm not getting too cocky. Not quite yet. But Celtic are sitting 11th. Livingston at bottom. Morton have got themselves a win against St. Mirren. Fair play to them. And um, Hearts are do uh, yeah very very boring. One one one. Um, Aberdeen have lost 2 at 1-1 one, one. So both teams Usually quite strong Have started quite poorly But all we care about is how well we're doing And we are smashing it at the moment Hopefully we can continue it uh, The team Will be looking like this We have Silver in goal Aino on the right Semedo, Zeeb and Borthwick Jackson On the left Solard, Thompson and Dembele in the middle Nori and McVitie behind Avramides. Now, um, Rudden's going to be back soon. Uh, Sterling will be back soon. I'd, um, see, I'm, I'm weighing up the possibility of dropping Woolley off the bench and putting Maddavi. 
but I don't know yet. Um, at the moment, David Robertson's just come back from injury, and yeah, his physicals have dropped a fair bit, but he'll be going back onto the bench. At the moment, William McBride is sitting there. He's doing all right as the backup, but he's considering he's getting games here and there a little bit, I'm considering sending him out on loan. I think that'd be a better option for him, maybe. But we'll see how we go in the season, shall we? For now, Aberdeen. We are away. And um, they've not had a great start of it. And we have. So, let's go through their team. Beanie in goal. Uh, Kleiss, maybe. Kleiss. Yeah, and the right. Devlin. O'Connor in the middle. Shinny on the left. Uh, Petrasso. Uh, Desar, Jack and Dempsey is their middle. Uh, Mulvey and Harper up front. Let's go straight into this. This is, um, as I said, if you did skip the uh, yesterday's, yesterday's last episode, then this is your first chance to see Avramides. And hopefully he puts on a show for you guys. Because he's been doing it for me. Just uh, get into it when the computer loads. Right, okay, here we go, we kick off, and uh, we never co we never commentate on the first highlight, do we? No, we do not. So, here we go, corner, Nori, Zeeb down to Semedo, who's pull it in, and FYI, his second goal of the season. Here it is in 3D, Nori with the corner, knocked on by Zeeb, Semedo doing a cry kick, and smashing it into that goal, 1-0, Great start. Let's continue it. Right, Jack's got the ball. Clace. I'm going to go with Clace. I don't, it's probably wrong. Right, Mulvey knocks it on. However, Borthwick Jackson collects. He's uh, knocked it up to Thompson. McVitie. This middle is brilliant. McVitie wants to go at him. Right, he's got to spread the play to Aino, who miscontrols it. But Dembele controls it and smashes that in for his fourth goal of the season. He's brilliant. Our midfield is fantastic. And I, I, honestly, I've said this before, and I'll probably say it again, and I'll probably regret saying it, but I think we can get out of this group stage. I, I genuinely, I think we can scrape second, almost definitely third. third. I'll be very, very disappointed if we don't get third. Right, we've got another highlight here. Nori, Dembele, what can he do? Semedo. Right, back to Dembele, McVitie, Avramides, Solard. The, the passing is amazing. The work is amazing. The teamwork, fantastic. Everyone's doing brilliant. I'm so happy with this midfield. Nori, Dembele, come on. Thompson, Dembele's in the middle of everything. McVitie, Nori, oh, Beanie saves it. And uh, they haven't even had a chat. They've had no shots, 30% possession. We are dominating at their ground. It's uh, something amazing's happened to Rangers. I honestly, strengthening that midf midfield. McVitie with a fire of a shot. However, it is saved and cleared away. 22 shots we've had, 12 on target. Okay. Uh, um, we, we're just firing on all cylinders. And I honestly, I'm not going to sit back in the Champions League. I'm not doing it this time. I'm going to go for wins. It's as simple as that. Uh, we might not be as good as the big teams, but we're going to try. Harper to start. Oh, oh, it's missed. I thought Petrasso was going to get one there. It is down as a clear-cut chance, but he bottled it. And that is the first half. Let's tell him I'm happy. I wouldn't mind another clean sheet, but, you know, the wins will do. I'll, I'll take wins. I'll take three points on that board. The, the further away we get from Celtic, the better. Who are drawing once again by the looks of it. And are sitting in 11th. So uh, if that carries on I can see another manager getting sacked. Avermedes is only on a 6.8. Not a bad score but he's not netted one in. So William McBride will come on. Um, another 6.8 in Jack Thompson. Um, I'm going to put Ajaria in his place. Other than that, Borthwick Jackson's a bit tired, but he'll be fine. There's no need to worry about him. And uh, straight away, 60 minutes, we haven't even made the subs yet. Avramides, McVitie, what a save. Beanie is on great form. He is stopping us. It's just these coming up 
Trump's far too late. Right, Balfour Jackson, McVitie, Dembele, come on. McBride, it's a penalty. Mm. We haven't got many good penalty takers. That is a very weak spot. Uh, our set pieces aren't great. However, I believe it's Nori. Nori steps up. And that's the second one he's missed now. So that is him off penalties. Uh, if he can't put them away, then he's not taking them. It's as simple as that. And just like that, he's gone down to a 6.0. So we're going to sub him off. Um, we've got the players. Mackay can come on. There we go. Sorry, Nori, mate. You are a good player. But if you can't put a penalty away and you're going to let it get to you, what can you do? And um, we're hitting 80 minutes now. It looks like not a lot's going on. They haven't even had a shot on target. They're just having pot shots by the looks of it. We've st we still had all possession. Far too many shots to only score two. Um, 22 shots on target, though, to be fair to the keeper. So, fair, fair play to their keeper. But that is 2-0. And that's a very comfortable win once again. Celtic managed to get themselves the win against Morton 1-0. Oh, they are struggling. And, um, yeah, let's have a quick look. 90th minute they got it. So, they've not started great, have they? Hearts drew to St. Mirren. This, uh, this Scottish League's all over the place at the moment. It really is. I know it's early days, but it is all over the place. Anyway, I've got to go through 14 days. So, I'll see you. In, well, it's a second for you. It'll be a few minutes for me. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are at the Hearts game. They have come over and uh, we're ready to play some football. We've changed the team a little bit because we've only got three days until PSV. So, yeah, Champions League... I think we're going to dominate Scotland. I'm saying it right now. I think we're going to dominate. We're going to get the league. Um, the Champions League needs to be top priority. So I've changed a few players. Um, nothing dramatic because it is still Hearts. Although they've had a poor start, they're still a good team. So let's quickly go through once again. Um, also, before I start, Andre Silva has just signed another contract. So I've got him for five years. So all that interest in him can go away. He can grow here and uh, become a superstar goalkeeper for us. Anyway, silver in goal. Aino on the right, Smedo, Woolley and Borthwick Jackson. Solar, uh, Solard, Ajaria and Gallica in the middle. McVitie and Quinn behind Rudden. That is our team today. Um, Zach Rudden is just coming back from injury, so he'll probably get about 60 minutes maybe. Um, their team, quite defensive for Hearts, but uh, okay. Petkovic in goal, Facey, Ozturk, Sotar and McCulloch is their back line, Kitchen is their defensive mid, Gore, Kane, our Michael Kane that is, he was once upon a time, um, Armstrong and Moreno and Egan all up on his own, I've got a feeling he's going to struggle a little bit, let's get straight into the game as always and uh, let's tell them to carry on where they left off. Obviously, PSV will be after this game. The Champions League starts once again. And as I said, I am expecting third at least. And we nearly get a goal in the first 20 seconds. That's what I like to see. Um, right, McVitie's got a free kick here. And it looks like Kane might have kicked him. Is that a yellow? No, it's just a telling off. McVitie knocks it in. It's cleared away. Quinn collects. Solard. Wooden. He's a bit further back than I like. Smedo. And Quinn has put one in there. Caesar Quinn. That's his first goal for Rangers, I do believe. And he's put it in against Hearts. Right, OK. Let's see it again. Quinn, Smedo. Oh, beautiful back heel. And what a goal. Come on. 1-0. Let's do this. As I said, I'm not going to... Oh, so lad. Ajaria, Gallica, McVitie, Borthwick Jackson, whips it in, Rudden puts it in, 2-0, 5 minutes. <laughs> what? I'm absolutely dominating. Uh, uh, we've, got a, we've got a team, guys. 
It's taken me so long. It really has to build up this team. There's been a few dud signings. There's been a few, you know, uh, downs, a few, a few ups. But yeah, we've got a team now. Armstrong's hoofed that up, and Egan all on his own, one on one. Silver saves it. And that is a fantastic save. They're coming back at us though. Moreno through to Armstrong. And a pot shot. Still 2-0. They've had 26% possession. We are just dominating. Absolutely smashing them. And yeah. Well, obviously the, the test for this team will be the Champions League. Um, especially. Well I want to say the PSG game. But. I'm expecting them to absolutely dominate us, but we just don't know. You don't know. Like Mavriti's running at them, maybe. No, he got greedy, but gets it to Quinn. So large. Spreads the play to Aino. Can he whip it in? He can. And McVitie's put it in. And that is free. 25 minutes gone. That's his third goal of the season. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I cannot... I've got no words. I've got literally no words. We're just dominating. Uh, this is, yeah, it it's almost too easy now. But Champions League, the Champions League win is what we're looking for. It really is. And uh, we need to start pushing. We haven't even got past the group stage yet. McVitie, Woolley, 4-0. I oh, know my chair's squeaky. I apologise. 4-0. And... Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to make a few changes at half time, rest a few key players. But when Tom, Tom Woolley's even running in and getting that in, everything's just, it's just gone into place. It's just working for me. And uh, yeah, I'll let the score do the rest for me. So let's just have a quick look. Right, so large things to come off, I think. So um, we're going to put Barry McCoy on and drop. Drop McVitie back. Uh, not Quinn, sorry. McVitie. Um, swap him with Gallagher. Who else? Aino's on at 8.4. Who else do we really, really need? Right, let's get Borthwick Jackson off for Liam Christie. And let's get Tavernier on for Aino. Okay, we're doing the three subs. Um, resting the players that need resting for the Champions League game. This game's ours. It, it really is. Um, with the changes in defence, we may let one in. But we're not going to go all season without letting a goal in. But we may go on full, all season without losing. I don't know. You never know. Anyway, I know it's only five games in and I'm getting ahead of myself. But look at us. Look, look at the passing play. Look at everything. I've brought the right players for the, what I want them to do. And it is working. Tavernier whips it in and Rudden puts in the fifth goal with 56 minutes in. It's 5 0 against Hearts. Hearts who got second last season. They're Champions League. Well, I don't know whether they are anymore. I haven't actually checked, but if they're playing like this, then no, they're not. Zach Rudden with two goals. I said he was going to only have 60 minutes, didn't I? And I've done three subs. Whoops. Sorry, Rudden. Go on, mate. It's okay, you, you're okay. I'm, I wouldn't do anything to intentionally hurt you. You know that. Christie's got the ball here. Woolly. Passing it around. Don't get too cocky, guys. Don't get too cocky. McVitie. Mackay. Christie. Passing it around. Love, uh, that middle area, we're just absolutely dominating. Facey. Mariga. McVitie takes it off him. Spreads it to Gallagher. Quinn. What can he do? They're just passing it around. Ticky tacker football. Christie whips it in. And it's a penalty, so Zach Wooden should step up for this. He is. And, uh, is there two players there? No, no, no. There's only the one. I did forget to take Norrie off penalties, but Wooden's on his hat-trick, so he'll step up. And he'll pull it in, and that's a hat-trick for Wooden. And that is six goals for Rangers. <sighs> Let's just have a... Hang on. Right, here it is in 3D. Tapped it in. Keeper couldn't do anything about that one. Here it is. Look, 17 goals we've scored. We've not let one in. To be fair, right, uh, four, 
Yeah, it doesn't say against, but we've scored 17, I've got a different 17. You can work it out. So, uh, yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. I don't really... Did I have it a bit further over? Yeah, I did. There we go. I did like that. All right, stop celebrating. And um, 6-0, comfortable, to say the least. They've had a couple of chances. They've kept their fair share of possession. They've just done nothing with it. They're just... They're just not attacking us. They're really not. And remember, we've played Aberdeen, Hearts, Inverness, and Celtic, the big, the big teams, and we've we've won them. We haven't even let a goal in. So, yeah, I'm feeling really confident about this season. And honestly, I'm feeling really confident about the Champions League. Not winning it, of course. I'm not that stupid, but I think we can make a push. And uh, well. Time will tell, won't it? We will see. Uh, that's going to be the end of the game. I don't know whether they're going to get a consolation. No, they're not. So the whistle will go. And that will be 6-0. Bye-bye, hearts. Go home with your tails between your legs. Let's quickly answer the question of... Are hearts still in the Champions League? Let's quickly check this. Um, schedule. Okay, so... No, they're not. They're in the Euro... And they made it through to the Euro group stage. They've got uh, Rapid VN. I just saw <laughs> Liverpool. <laughs> and Inter Milan. That's harsh. That is very harsh. But, hey-ho. Um, they're going to get battered if they play like that. Anyway, the next episode will be PSV and Paris Saint-Germain. As I said, we're going to do two Champions League games per episode. Considering I'm, I'm only doing three a week. Let's get it on. Let's push this forward. Also, um, obviously we'll talk about it nearer the time. Now, let's say hypothetically, of course, we win the Champions League. Where do you want this save to go? Do you want me to turn it into a journeyman? Do you want me to turn it into a, like a Pentagon challenge? Or go Scotland manager? Um, or just a international manager? And... Um, Thoughts in the comments. Let me know. Uh, if you've got any ideas that are new and different that somebody else hasn't done, let me know. Anyway, as always, if you do like it, hit the like button. Eight goals today. Eight goals. Look, clean sheets galore. Give us a like. Um, comment if you've got any ideas. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy. <laughs>